Hello, yo. Today I'm going to be showing you a really cool seed. And the seed has some really cool things in it. So you won't want to miss out on the seed. So make sure to write it down when I get there. Make sure to subscribe and and like the video. Okay, so now let's go down to the seed. The seed is going to be about one five two one six one four one three four. There, that's the seed. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds to remember the seed and to pause and write it down. Okay, there. I'm also going to change it to creative to show you all the cool things. Okay, there. I'll, I'll turn on show coordinates so that you can turn that on and you can see where all the cool things are. So now let's create the world. Okay, and wait a second, we're in. Okay, so you spawn here on this villager's roof. You spawn here on the villager's roof and right in the village. You have this whole entire village. Hey, look, th this village has a blacksmith. See, the it's also kind of glitched out here. Don't jump into the lava. Okay. And then just right behind this house, near spawn, there's this blacksmith. And you can just steal its loot. Okay, that's not the blacksmith, so it doesn't mind. And villagers don't mind if you steal their loot. See, you have some obsidian, some bread and apples, some iron, an iron chest plate, and a pickaxe. This is a great starter kit. That is a great starter kit. Yeah, you have to be careful of that lava, though. I'm glad I'm in creative. Okay. So there's also a taiga biome up there, but see how this village goes on the mountain? It gets way crazier than that, but see, this village already goes into the mountain, which is pretty cool. And see, the town well is just down here. It goes up on the cliff, this village does. And then, oh, here, there's a village on a floating island. This is the only seed where I've ever seen this. A village on a floating island. Let's look, that's so cool. A village on a floating island. A villager house on a floating island. That's so cool. Obviously inside it's a normal villager house, but it's on, but it's on a floating island. It's a castle in the sky. Is there? And then around here, there's not very many structures. There's some coal right there. Yeah, there's not very many structures. But in the nether, like there's something really cool just right at spawn. So let's get obsidian. Okay, there. We're going to need obsidian and we're going to need a flint and steel. Or a way to activate the nether portal. It can also be a fire shard. Look, if you build, I'm building the nether portal here on this village path. Okay, there. Yeah. Okay, let's go into the nether. You have this nice crimson forest biome, but there's a bastion remnant somewhere around here. See right there, the bas there's one of these new bastion remnants. 
Well, they've actually been in the game for a while now. Four months. But look, see, we found this Bastion Remnant. And this is a, usually a really rare structure that's really hard. And I usually struggle to find this. And there's like a bunch of loot in here also. That's not very good loot. Okay. But you'll get better luck if you go into other chests and you'll get better luck. Like, and you can kind of explore this thing and also be careful of the mobs here. I'm warning you of these piglin brutes. They're only in Minecraft Pocket Edition, but these piglin brutes will just attack you if, they're, if they see you and they're like really strong. They're harder to kill than hoglins. Hoglins aren't really that hard to kill though. They're kind of easy actually. But still, be careful of those piglin brutes. So, they're really dangerous. Okay. And other than that, there's not much other than that. The main highlight of this seed is, the main highlight of the seed is the village on a floating island. Now it's time to show the coordinates. Okay, build your nether portal. Like, build your nether portal at coordinates here right. let me go back in coordinates like build it in coordinates 1070 like 1000 and then your y position down here it is 65 so 1000 and then 65 and then between 23 and 20 and 19 23 and 19 there. That's where you build your nether portal and you'll be that close to the blacksmith. And it's all right at spawn, which is another good thing because it's all right at spawn. And that's about it for today's video. So until the until the next video. Bye. And also make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below which videos you want to see in the future. When I get 100 subscribers, I'm making a special video once I get 100 subscribers. I'm two, I'm two subscribers away. We can do it with this video. So until next time, bye.